structured so sturdy the material and um i just think it looks great on so i tried on another mac from zara and it was just really like floppy and it didn't hold its um what's the word i'm looking for it didn't hold its silhouette whereas with this i am really feeling it i'm liking the color it's because of the lovely fitting room light it is coming across um quite green i would say but um, maybe if i turn around i think this is a, a more true one i would say this is more true to color and the fit is great i am wearing extra large um in mango so yeah, the back, quite liking this. Yeah, it's really nice. And I think the price point was like £80, which is pretty pretty much similar to what it was in Zara, I think. I think Zara could have been a little bit more pricier. But uh, this is coming home. I am liking this. skirt and I just had to try it on. I really do like A-line skater skirts so I wanted to try this on. It's quite a good length for a mini skirt. I feel like nicely covered um, and it's got... Oh, it's okay sweetie. Um, <laughs> I've also got like um Pleats. It's also got pleats on there as well. So I just think it's such a nice uh, length and style. This is the type of colorway that is always in for for autumn. Um, I know this t-shirt is not doing it justice. I know that. Um, and obviously, yeah, the outfit is not giving <laughs> but the skirt i'm liking it it is in a size large i would have to size up to a xl if they have it i saw this as well this blazer and from the looks of it it should match because <laughs> it was even together on the shop floor but it doesn't really match but i'm gonna still pair them together just so you can see how nice this would look as a full suit in its entirety so let's do it if this comes as a full suit where it's matching i would definitely get the blazer to go with it i think it's a nice touch i think it looks good um obviously this is not matching i know but um i do love skirt suits so this skirt will be coming home with me. I believe the it's so, it's so well made as well. Hmm, I feel like I sleep on mango a lot. I think I should go to mango more often. Um, I'm always rushing to Zara, but so far the sizes are more true and they're fitting me much better than they would in Zara for some reason. Um, but yeah. 80 pounds 
and I need to check for the skirt. Oh, this is a size, like I said, it's too small, so I'd have to get a size up. Um, I can't see what the size is. I'll take it off and I'll show you what the, the not the size, the price is for the skirt. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do, but I'm really loving it. I don't know if it's, I think, I think um, the wrap over skirt, for some reason for me, it just feels just like it's giving me like some breathing space. It's, oh my gosh, just everything. I'm, I'm really liking this. Just with a simple thing, t-shirt, it's so comfortable. It's such good, like breathable fabric as well. I mean, I would never have thought red, dog tooth, hound tooth. Um, What do you think? I'm really liking this. I don't know if I'm daring enough to buy it though. Because I feel like it's such a standout piece if you wear it too often. I don't know. I'm loving this. And it's got like frayed up. It's all frayed here as well. So soft. So nice. So now, what do you think? Would you wear? I am. I'm looking for more skirts like this, where I don't even know what you call it—like a wrap-over fronted skirt. I think asymmetrical lines look great on rectangular body shapes like mine. So that's probably why I'm liking it so much. Love, 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 love. Love this skirt. Oh my goodness. I love the whole look. I'm feeling like clueless, right? So 90s. Clueless all day long. <laughs> it's such a shame because this is the dress I was looking forward to trying on. But as you can see, it doesn't fit. It's too narrow around my the hips for me. So and I cannot even attempt. <laughs> oh, but it's such a shame because I think this would have been so adorable, so cute. Cap sleeve, asymmetrical hem. It's so cute and girly, so feminine. But unfortunately, it doesn't fit, and I am wearing the size XL, which is probably the the largest they go up to. Which is such a shame. I love this. Oh, let me try to. No, I can't even. Oh, that would have been cute. Such a shame. <laughs> I may be. Um, I know Mango does like a plus size range, so I'll have a look online to see if they have a little bit uh, higher, a bigger size. <laughs> Than this, oh, I would have fallen in love with this. It's 80 pounds, definitely would have fallen in love. Tell a lie, I'm tr I've tried on the XL as you can see, but it goes up to one, two, three, four, five sizes higher. That is incredible. That really, really makes me happy to know that there are companies out there that are starting to expand their size ranges like i was really upset that i couldn't try this on now i don't know if they have one in store um that's my size but just knowing that there is a possibility that i can actually wear clothes that i'd like to wear really makes me happy so i just wanted to add that
I don't look how you know when you're caressing a, a new outfit <laughs> that means you really do like it oh my goodness this fit is insane it is a tweed mini skirt what if, is this an a-line skirt um i would say so what i love about this more or the most is this part here can i lift it up like this okay it gives you like short oh oh wow <laughs> the lighting just changed <laughs> but it has like these shorts oh the music turns up as well what's this what's inside here what's this called again a lining oh the lining yeah so i was saying the lining usually under skirts it just mimics the skirt but this actually is shorts inside if you can see like how smart is that you just feel so secure wearing this um mm, yeah i'm really loving that i quite like it paired with the um tights that i'm wearing from asos I'm not sure if they have any in stock, but I did buy this, I want to say last year I bought these. I'm really loving, really loving the skirt. I think price point is around £50, so it is a bit, a little bit higher than, uh, let's just say Zara, I would say. But for the intentional lining, as well as the thickness of the material, the comfort, the fit, I would say that is well worth the price. And it's something I would definitely add to my wardrobe. What do you guys think? You like? So clueless. I'm loving this um, research of the 90s era. It's like because when in the 90s I was way too young to wear this and now in 2022 I can enjoy it. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I am with I am back with these vegan leather shorts. These are I want to say that they look more like Bermuda shorts. They're quite long, and um, unfortunately, these are quite big for me. I'm pretty sure this is also in an extra large. As you can see, it's vegan leather. And I'm pretty sure they're extra large, but they've come just myself. But yeah, they are quite big. <laughs> so I'm not making them look nice. Um even if they weren't so big, I don't think I would like them so much just because they're just so baggy. Even even if they fitted, I you could tell they'd be baggy and it would it has the appearance of a lot of creases in this area which I don't like. Um Oh yeah, and it's not flattering from the side, so no, I don't like these. That's okay, let's try the next item. Okay, so when I saw this on the shop floor, I was really excited, because you do know I like a draped midi skirt with um, a slit on the side, and I love this burnt rust brown orangey colour. Unfortunately, again, it's too big. It's in a size large, so what I'm seeing is a massive size discrepancy because extra large was quite tight on me, uh, which was that um, the first skirt I tried on. 
and then the shorts were too big and they were a size large or no extra large and this is a large and you can see this is quite like big on me um so yeah i'm seeing a bit of discrepancy there so something to think about if you decide to dabble in abercrombie other than that it is a nice skirt i wouldn't let me check the price i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it all day around let's check the price because the price is 65 pounds that's not showing my awful fingers in this so yeah this the it's 65 pounds and i wouldn't say it's worth it because it does feel quite it feels quite thin it is um lined it is lined but it just seems quite um quite thin for the price i would rather buy the similar version in zara that has more structure to it so this is a no for me I have to record this part because the music was so loud but these high rise dad jeans just do absolutely nothing for me i am in a constant search to find the right pair of jeans that elongate my legs that don't make me look frumpy um these literally look like they are my dad's jeans and i've just put them on and I'm hoping for the best, <laughs> which is never the look. Um, I wouldn't recommend these because even though the quality is very nice, it just seems very much shapeless. I do believe I'm wearing it as, um, I think it's 33 inch waist, so it's a bit too big for me. Um, but it's just so square and just oh it's just not nice and really long obviously it's the wrong length for me as you can see but i'm hoping to look like the models the way they carry it off like hopefully i can do the same until i look like them then i'm going to continue on my search for the perfect jean i do weekly reviews i do weekly come shop with me's so if you're interested in that, please click that subscribe button and I cannot wait to see you all on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.